I know what I need to do. I'm just not motivated to do it. So that statement is what we're going to delve into. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Boardman. And if you are coming through, please do let me know by leaving a love heart button, pressing that. That allows me to know that you've come through and watched. I want you to comment below the most adventurous place you've ever had sex. <laughs> sort of mix it up. And then please do share this with somebody that might need it right now or with your timeline just to help get that reach to men who need help. All right, so a common statement that we see is, yeah, I know what I need to do, but I'm just not motivated to, to do it or to see it through. So, if I had a pound for every time I heard that statement, I would be on a yacht out there somewhere, okay? Um, and it's an interesting statement, and it's one that I'm going to challenge, and it's one that I'm going to talk through uh, with you. So, <coughs> the fact that we rely on motivation in itself is a clear statement that we don't really know what we're doing. I want you to think about, <clears throat> um, when you think about yourself right now, if I turn around and said to you, go and run 50 miles. Okay, if I went out to go and run 50 miles, I would take off and I'd probably finish it. Maybe, maybe not, but I certainly wouldn't be very conditioned for it. I really wouldn't have the legs for it. I probably wouldn't be in the right mindset for it. Um, I'm not sure if I, right now, nutritionally, be able to do it. You know, I'd have to walk an awful lot of those miles. And I can turn around and say, I know how to run a 50 miler. I know how to run a 50 miler. I'm just not motivated to do it. Okay. But right now, I'm not conditioned to do it. So when we turn around and say, like, I know what I need to do, great, everyone knows. And, and, and that version of, I know what I need to do, looks something like, I need to track my calories and I need to do some training. People think that's it. I think people think like, if I start doing some training, if I start tracking my calories, you know, that's me going to be sorted. And what really happens is that we only show up maybe six times a year. And that for, for each one of those times that we show up, for those that are on this inconsistent like roller coaster, is that we start the process of yeah, going for a gym or we go for a run, then something knocks them off path then after a couple of weeks, they fall off that wagon and then they go straight back to the way they were living their lives. And I truly believe that if people knew what they were doing, they would never fall off that wagon. Because the way that we look at this is that, hey look, you might think that we know what we're doing, but I would challenge that and say, I don't think you're conditioned to. Now for me, what I truly believe is that... Um, we have to re-educate ourselves as men on how to live. Now that might be, to some ears, sound quite patronising, but it's not intentional to sound like that. We have to figure out, learn, educate ourselves how to live. So if you think about us as kids, we go through junior school and we learn all of the basics. We then move on to secondary school, we do our GCSEs. Um, we go on to college or maybe university, and through that period, we have lots of mentors, okay? Lots of mentors in the forms of teachers, dads and mums, uncles, elders, and always giving you their experience. They're always teaching you and educating you. Then when you leave that educational system, you're in a big wild world. And the only person that you really have to help educate you or help you live is you, maybe some friends, maybe your mum and dad might still chip in, but we're kind of trying to have to figure out ourselves. And for men that are reaching mid-30s plus, it's been nearly 15 years before we've been in education, before we're trying to learn for ourselves. So we kind of get to this point where we have just created our own rules and we have made our own decisions and we have followed our own path and got to a certain point in life. So there is so much more than just turning up and training and just eating nutrition. 
we have to be able to learn how to create a routine, stick to a routine. We have to understand what structure looks like. We have to understand how to be consistent, consistent in our energy, energy in our communication and understanding of a, of a relationship. We have to understand how we can thrive, how we can lead, how we can control our own emotions, how we can control our mindset, how we can control our actions, the decisions that we make. So suddenly we go from like, I know what I'm doing to like, man, how do I do all of that? So I have been through the mill quite a lot and I've gone through quite a lot of the, quite, quite a lot of life experience. I have like a lot of life experience, definitely not a life coach. I really don't like that, that statement, but I've gained an awful lot of experience over the years in terms of helping myself out of my own rut and helping a lot of men and communicating with a lot of men about the models and systems that help men build structure, systems, mentality, emotional conditioning to succeed long, long term, not short term, not in a, not in a small, short diversion, but long for the rest of your life. So rewiring of the mind right here. Okay. And I think it's really, really important to understand that there is so much more to this changing than just training and nutrition. There is so much more to understand. And that's why, like, we do steady. That's why we do five-day training, five-day challenges. That's why we do master classes. Because what we do is we give a little snippet of, hey, this is how you build purposeful direction. This is how you build an elite operate mentality. This is how you build a morning routine. This is how you control your emotions. And it's not a case of being motivated. That statement, when we come back to that statement and it turns around and says, I know what I need to do, I'm just not motivated to do it. Motivation has nothing to do with it. Nothing. Motivation is a weak, weak, weak emotion that comes and goes. You'll watch this video, you'll be motivated, in an hour you won't. It has to be a deep rooted purpose, deep rooted purpose to want to show up and do all of that of what I've just spoken about. Because it's hard work. People don't do the work because it's hard. Because it doesn't take eight weeks. It takes eight months to 12 months. It takes nearly two years to really ingrain and rewire. People looking for that, I need that six week. When people do six week transformations and they change the body, six weeks later, they're straight back to where they were because they're not doing the underlying foundational work that needs to be done to stay above the waves. So when we rephrase that statement, I'm not conditioned to do what I need to do right now because I have no purpose. And we want to build that purpose. And we show up 1% a day forever for the rest of our lives in terms of building ourselves. So little increments, little increments, but we do it with purpose, not motivation, purpose. And we build the deep rooted, seeded rewiring of our brains so that when we show up over a long period of time, it changes the game. Okay. So if you need free training and you haven't done any of our trainings before, um, we're doing a free masterclass on the 3rd of May. So I'm going to be running about an hour and 15 minute workshop online through Zoom, through webinar. I'm going to teach people on three frameworks how to build purposeful direction. And that will give you an insight into a little bit more about what we do and how we regrow and build men to be the man that they want to be. And if you want to join and want a free seat, then you can click the link up above um, and you can claim your free seat. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll catch up with you soon.